Hi everyone, uh, I am back again with a quick uh, video and this video is going to be an unboxing. So I received this box today at work. This one was supposed to to arrive a couple of days ago but there, there was some issues there were some issues with delivery so it came with a little bit of delay anyway. Uh, so I opened the box already because uh, my colleagues they wanted to, they wanted to see the perfumes, but I didn't open the perfumes. So that's the invoice. That's one sample they sent me. The name is simply Belle. I don't know. I think it's probably a feminine feminine perfume. And I've got two. I have received two perfumes. One is everyone knows this one, Pure Moth by Thierry Mugler. And the other one, which is my all-time favorite, I love this perfume. It's Creed, Creed Millicent Imperial. So I'm going to open them quickly and let, let you guys know what I'm thinking about them. So I've, I've never smelled pure malt before. This is going to be my first time smelling pure malt. I have I have uh, pure Havana already too, so they come with uh, paper. And here is the box. Here is the bottle. So I'm gonna I'm going to give it a quick spray. Obviously. This has got the same DNA as Pure Havon and Angelman. I like it. And it, I have to wait for probably a couple of more minutes. So that's Pure, Ho Pure Malt. The other one creates Millicent Imperial. That's the card. paper and that's the beautiful bottle okay everyone Sorry about the interruption. So here is what happened. I bought this one from uh, Fragrance Net, and firstly, because the the box didn't come with the plastic. At first, I thought that maybe something fishy is going on here, but when I did the research on um, I. Uh, found out that none of the creeds, creeds box are coming uh, with plastic so another thing that I noticed is I don't, I don't know if you can whether you can see it uh, that white label that round what white label which is covering the barcode that was another uh, another thing that I noticed that and um, I thought maybe I have received a fake bottle, but I think this one is real for a couple of reasons. Obviously, the bottle looks legit. All the all the uh, letters, cap, they are all looking good and uh, batch number matches the um, uh, the batch number in the box but um, 
There's something here. Reference number. It says 110, 75, 33. But in the in the bottle, the above the above the um, batch number, there is there are a couple of letters uh, which are ending with 75011. So I'm not sure what what this number is, but I I am. Um, now I'm pretty sure that I have received the le legitimate bottle. I just want to mention this one that uh, uh, honestly, pure malt to me uh, it smells exactly like um, pure Havan. Especially in the dry down, I get exactly the same same notes and same same vibe that I get from um, pure Havan and honestly that's a bit disappointing for me that's it for me take care bye